you guys, no critical thinking, all right? Just whatever your TV says, take it as truth. Do what the people around you tell you to do. Don't use your brain. Be like these people. <laughs> what the... Uh, do we know what's going on there? Like, what in the hell? It's being a little sheep. This is not far from the truth, though, in the last few years. Uh, you know, throughout history, I suppose. But more so in the last couple years. Be like these people. No critical thinking allowed. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to his Education, and welcome to another Cringe You Lose episode. Another edition of Clown World. Here in Clown World, critical thinking is not allowed, all right? Do what the TV says, do what the authorities say, everything around you, everyone around you. Don't use your brain, don't ask questions, just take out the debt and consume and consume. Help keep propping this whole thing up, all right? That's what you should do in this time, all right? So as always in these Clown World episodes, if you cringe, you lose, all right? And the, the punishment is you have to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, but you have to, all right? We're closing in on a million subscribers. It's crazy. Uh, so that's your punishment. You have to subscribe and share this channel with someone who may not be subscribed. Also, if you are sick and tired of the usual news, head over to zedmedia.substack.com or Zedcast on Apple or Spotify and join us every morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Time, where we go over all of the trending headlines and all the things you need to know so you can log off the internet and enjoy the rest of your day. Hope to see you over there. But first, if you are ready for today's game of You Cringe or Lose, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you cringe, you lose, go. From CBS Mornings. Today's children are 30% less aerobically fit than their parents were at their age, a new study found. You may say, whoa, it's probably diets, it's probably sedentary lifestyles, it's looking at your phone all the time. But no, the tweet continues. The study points to climate change and rising temperatures adversely affecting childhood obesity as children spend less time exercising outdoors. It has, has nothing to do with the amount of sugar in foods today. It has nothing to do with screen time. None of that. It's climate change. <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't make it up. This morning, a not so sweet warning from Hershey. Get ready for a Halloween candy shortage. The company's CEO says it won't be able to produce enough of our favorite holiday themed treats to meet the growing demand. Reese's, Kit Kats, Twizzlers could all be hard to find. Sales, they say, have been soaring since 2020 when so many Americans turned to candy in the early days of the pandemic, and they've been growing ever since. Hershey says it is adding production capacity, but it just can't keep up for this year. Plus, the candy maker has been hit by a shortage of essential ingredients like cocoa, the result of a global supply chain issues triggered by the pandemic and the war in Ukraine. So that is all likely to mean that the company won't be able to meet the high demand this Halloween. Uh, there you go. There's a... Halloween candy shortage, just FYI. Maybe that'll help childhood obesity rates for a couple weeks. I don't know. Just in, judge unseals heavily redacted Trump raid affidavit. Wasn't that great? You know, a nice little flashback to August. Unseals. What does that say? How come we can't see that? Unreal. From time, Omicron boosters are coming, but they weren't tested on people. Here's what you need to know. Real headline. Real headline from time. Take it for what you will. Uh, that's I'm just presenting the information, YouTube. This is a real article from a real publication. What's going on here? Uh, anyone? Anyone? Breaking. Remember when Pelosi sold 25,000 shares of NVIDIA back in July? Well, NVIDIA was just told by the U.S. government to restrict chip sales in China and Russia. NVIDIA is currently down 6% in after hours. The Pelosi saved $600,000 of losses by selling their shares. Wow, I wonder if Nancy knew that that was coming. Seems a little bit like she might have. She is in the government. She's in the number three seat. That's kind of uh, information she would have access to. Mm. Due to high theft, we can no longer put stakes on the shelf. Please ask associates if needed. Thank you. 
And going up, prices at the grocery store are nuts lately. More CBS. The new CBS Reports documentary Arming Ukraine explores why much of the billions of dollars of military aid that the U.S. is sending to Ukraine doesn't make it to the front lines. Like 30% of it reaches its final destination. That, 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 CBS, that tweet really upset some people. Here's your correction. We removed a tweet promoting our recent doc, Arming Ukraine, which quoted the founder of the nonprofit Blue Yellow, Jonas Oman's assessment in late April that only around 30% of aid was reaching the front lines in Ukraine. <sighs> yeah, you wouldn't want people thinking that now, would you? Sending money overseas, billions and billions of dollars while Americans at home struggle. Yeah, and then to know that not all of it, if it's not 100%, what a waste. And clearly, that seems to be the case here. And if it's 30%, thanks, where's the rest of it going? You don't want people asking that though. That's a bad question to ask. You don't want people asking that. Yeah, changing minds and hearts. Hell yeah. Down with the milk. Eat the bugs, man. Down with it. Doing God's work. Activism. Woo! <laughs> doing it, man. You're doing it. At least they put the no slip sign out there being courteous, right? What a waste. Bunch of spoiled brats. Is that, that's what that is. I think I'm going to go have a glass of milk just in honor of these idiots. And I don't even like milk. This is, uh, what a great example of activism. Changing more minds against them than for them. So it's like a little toddler crying in the aisle, flopping on the ground, crying because they're not getting their way. This is what these people are equivalent, equivalent to. And I actually appreciate them because it's very entertaining. And they go to the basketball games and they glue themselves to the floor like, what a silly thing to do. How hilarious. That's an adult doing that. But again, grownups don't exist. We know that. From Raytheon. Few people realize the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is the most environmentally friendly anti-aircraft missile produced anywhere. Shut the hell up. This, is, this can't be real. This has to be a fake tweet. We're proud of our commitment to a better future for all the children of the world. Do good things, be greener with Raytheon. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way that's a real tweet. Someone's trolling. There's no way that's a real tweet. We're just, I'm just going to debunk this one. There's no way this is satire. Has to be. If it is, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I, I don't know if I'll ever laugh at anything ever again. From BBC, go-karting for prisoners at France's second largest prison was mistake, admits governor. <laughs> I feel like that was predictable. France. Uh, yeah, let's give the prisoners go-karts. That's just a great idea. Unreal. Scotland cut down 14 million trees to make way for wind turbines. Climate. Helping the climate. <laughs> way to go, Scotland. You're doing God's work. From CNN. Next time you stop at a gas station, think of it as a $100 a month tax cut or maybe $100 dollar a month raise yeah but go back to when biden took office go from there we're still like way way up way up and the outlook isn't that good hopefully i'm wrong hopefully gas prices keep going down but a lot of variables that aren't looking too good right now synthetic human embryo with brain and heart formed without using eggs or sperm all right uh Go science, I guess. Is this the this where the road we want to go down? I don't know. Protein pasta powered by crickets. Penne pasta made with durum wheat, semolina, and 10% cricket flour. Eat the crickets. Eat the crickets and take out the debt and consume. Continue consuming. Don't forget that. Yeah, no, not eating that ever. Climate change could bring back wind as the future power source of ocean cargo ships. We're going back in time. How about that? You guys like that? Bring back the, the Mayflower. Spend uh, months traveling the seas. Los Angeles voters will decide on a proposal in 2024 on whether hotels will have to offer vacant rooms to homeless people. Californians will literally try everything besides actually building new housing. And, you know, 
you know, let's give them free needles. How about that? That's a thing. Make sure they don't get diseases while they're doing drugs. Not actually solving the, the root of the problem. Addiction and mental health. You go onto the streets and that's what it is. Uh, but don't address that. Just put a Band-Aid on it. That's that's the, the way of governments. Mealworm seasoning. Scientists explore creepy crawly flavoring to satisfy meat cravings. And more of it. We got more. Eat the worms. Oh, God. That just looks disgusting. The worst part is there's people out there that think this is a good idea, and they're probably doing it already. And those people will continue to try to impose their will on you. I got this electricity bill today. How in the name of God is this possible? We are a small coffee shop in Westmeath. 9,836 euros. Hey, well, look at your uh, profile. You're supporting the war. Wow. Huh. You probably support all the other insane policies too. That helped deliver that nice bill to you. Nice. ABC News. Rising heart disease may be explained by extreme weather conditions. It's not clear why temperature shifts correlated with more heart attacks. Nothing else. Nothing else going on in the world over the last two years that could uh, be an explanation. Not at all. Nothing. <laughs> Stop it. You're kidding me. Please tell me this is from like 2020. At the height of the hysteria. Oh, God. Really? Uh, these people walk among us. They do. They're out there. It's, it's tragic, really. But life in blackout Britain. Experts warn energy rationing this winter could see people told not to cook until after 8 p.m. Pubs close at 9 p.m., three-day-a-week school, care homes cancel outings for residents, and swimming pools left unheated. There we go. But hey, it's a nice little sacrifice for supporting Ukraine, right? Make sure you put the Ukrainian flag in your bio. All right, do that. Do it and pay the higher costs. Switzerland considers jailing anyone who heats rooms above 19 degrees Celsius for up to three years if the country is forced to ration gas due to Ukraine war. Now you get to go to jail in Europe if you don't follow the rules. All right, don't follow the, don't heat your house. Don't live in comfort. Support the, put the freaking flag in your bio. Eating too much protein makes pee a problem pollutant in the U.S. Protein-packed diets add excess nitrogen to the environment through urine, rivaling pollution from agricultural fertilizers. Cow farts, now human piss. The meats, the meat is the problem. All right, eat the eat the freaking bugs, man. And then we don't have to deal with this anymore. China orders 300 million more tons of coal to be mined a year. Mm. Yeah. Round of applause for this one. This is amazing because while... Europe suffers while well, you're told to eat the bugs because your piss actually causes climate change. Uh, China doesn't care at all. And they're actually doing stuff like this because they don't care. They're taking advantage of the idiocy in the West. And this is why they are rising to power because we have a bunch of clowns in the West. <laughs> and this, this is proof, more proof. They don't care about your stupid climate laws at all. Price hike continues in Australia as watermelons hitting almost $34. Yeah, I'll pass on the watermelon. 34 bucks a melon, man. Army suggests soldiers fighting inflation go on food stamps. <laughs> what if we just gave them some money? You know, we, what do we have to like 60 billion total to Ukraine now? So we're giving them money, but not ours. Is that... I mean, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't ask questions, you know. From CBS News, one thing the Inflation Reduction Act may not do, lower inflation. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You mean adding hundreds of billions, trillion dollars, just out of thin air, printing it? But that's how stupid they think you are. They think that naming the bill, the Inflation Reduction Act, is going to make you support it. It's hilarious. Wind turbine blades could be recycled into gummy bears, scientists say. What? Metal? 
metal into gummy bears. Now, we were talking about eating the bugs, eating the worms. Now they're talking about feeding you metals. Accept it. Don't use your brain. Accept it. From eBay, a message to our sellers. Starting January 1st, 2022, eBay and other marketplaces will be required by the IRS to issue a Form 1099-K to all sellers who receive $600 or more in sales. Ah, uh, yeah, don't forget, this has already started. It's going to get worse, too, as we move toward a cashless uh, economy, which is already happening. So all your transactions are going to be tracked very easily. LA is making these kids play indoor basketball with masks. Cruel and idiotic. You're kidding me. You're absolutely... I, I hope that's a joke. I hope that's a picture from a couple years ago. But if this is happening today, after everything we found out already... Shame on whoever is making these kids do this. I hope some parents stand up. Be less squeamish about drinking sewage water, says experts. Now, drink your waste. Drink the sewage water. Eat the crickets. Eat the wind turbine metal-infused gummy bears. And, and, you know, drink the sewage water. Accept it. IRS audits the poor at five times the rate of everyone else, analysis finds. Oh, there we go. Hey, do you know that? Do you know that? So if you make less than 400 grand, you have a five times more chance, according to CBS News, to get audited. There you go. Hillary posts dance floor pick in support of Finnish Prime Minister Sana Marin. You know what? I like Hillary, the activist. She's out there making a fool of herself. She's just become one of these other, you know, blue checkmark Twitter accounts now that sits and cries on Twitter all day. Uh, that's what she is now. It's it's actually really pathetic to see. She was running for president, and now that's what she is. Posting this crap. Politician trading breaking news. Senator Tommy Tuberville owns $530,000 of Ecom shares, with his largest purchase to date happening one month ago. Today, Ecom announced it will be acquired and the stock jumped 55%. When one eats, they all eats. Here we go. We got a nice Republican there. Republicans and Democrats both in on this game. Both in on the insider trading game. I mean, it's just coincidence. What do you think about today's video? These clown world examples. Which one do you think is the silliest? Are there any on here that makes sense to you? Do you think dumping out milk in the market is a good idea? Do you, let me know in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. No, 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 don't. Idiots.